G'day, this is Captain Uber, and this is a Remington ACR. ACR meaning Adaptive Combat Rifle, which might give you an idea of what this thing is trying to be. And don't worry, I'll be having it covered in Picatinny rails yet. So what this thing is, it's a rifle. It can have it semi-auto or fully automatic with custom sounds and animations. It does require the Mark 18 mod, which is basically just another AR-15 looking gun. So it uses the same animations, probably same customization and everything, but it's an ACR instead of a Mark 18. So isn't that nice? Probably won't look at the Mark 18 because they're basically the same weapon, but this one looks a little bit more distinct. And these things were first made around 2006 and they're on trial for the US government for replacing the M4s at the time. I don't think anything came of that because there's no, there's nothing about these things being used in a uh, military capacity. But there was a civilian variant of this, not made by Remington, or was it like a Bushmaster variant of this? Could make it semi-auto, so yeah. They're expensive, though, very expensive. But taking a look at this thing, it's got a lot of design features or just looks from other guns. You'll note that this trigger and magazine assembly sort of thing, that looks a lot like an M16, and then you've got this rail across the top here and then this charging handle right there kind of like a scar and it's got the mark 18 gas system for recoil and helping like that and there's a lot of polymer here because it's kind of light right now so maybe they looked at the g36 rifles or something other than that that was using polymer at the time so it's good it's not that heavy won't be fatigued carrying it around all day that makes no difference in uh, Fallout except for the carry weight part of it, which I guess is in and of itself really good. Anyways, we'll get into the customization because there's a lot here. And we can change this barrel from 370mm to 267 which I believe is the standard sort of carbine length. And you'll increase your accuracy somehow with a shorter barrel. Um feel like they got that backwards, but we can chuck on a 508 mil barrel, and that'll be good for our range. That's a ton of range. That's a that's an obscene amount of range. You'll never have anything vanilla go up that high, so we're going to be dinging people f with vats from ages away, which is good. You've got this front sight thing. You can leave this here or flip it down if you feel like it or remove it entirely. Um, we'll flip it down because we're going to be mounting a reflex sight on this and we can chuck a grip on the bottom and if you scroll down these will give you slight accuracy bonuses or penalties and the fire rate's gone up okay maybe we're bugging out a little bit here but we'll go for one of these bad boys and you get slightly better accuracy when using these ones okay it's fixed now 55 and if we scroll up that's only 49 with the angled grip there it's unfortunate that they don't um, have any sort of recoil things where you can uh, tell the game to reduce first shot recoil multipliers using this thing, like a certain other game. And we've got a bottom rail which we can attach either a flashlight or a laser sight to. You'll find that you can have rails all over the thing and attach whatever you want. Plenty of things here. And you can have it in a tan color which looks more sand than anything else. But you can also match this sight with that as well and also the grip if you want a tan variant which we'll leave this as black for now but i'll show you what a tan variant looks like as we go on so right now we've got a flash hider on the barrel for blackout rounds which are a little bit different than that that actually looks like a scar h flash hider that's cool but we can put a suppressor on it which i'm going to do because i always do that and this one appears to be quite heavier no? Is it the lightest? No, that's the lightest suppressor. I just picked the right one, so that's that's cool. We'll keep using that. Right rail, like I said, a bunch of sights of the laser variety and also flashlights. We'll put something on the left. Just a little bit of laser sight there. There we go. And we can have something on the top rail. If you want to put four laser sights on this, you certainly can. Will it do anything useful? Nah. Will it make you look like a dickhead? Yes. That's all the more reason to do it. And we've also got a bunch of the sights here, including a razor variant, if you want to still have your iron sights up for some reason. And Aerotex, which, yes, all the time, everyone. And it looks like most of these are Western sights. Yep, no Russian scoops here to be seen. But I'm guessing these uh, attachments are from the Mark 18 rifle that is a child of. That this thing 
that that mod parenting will does require i went over this but worth mentioning again and we can change the grip here we'll make it over molded because it looks a little bit more comfortable that way wouldn't mind my drill having an old over molded hand grip at work i reckon that'd be a little bit a little bit uh more comfortable to carry and we can change the magazine and you can have all of the cool see-through magazines if you feel like it and these ones they're made by lancer systems and you can have er or tr versions which are empty reload or a tactical reload now obviously if you want a faster reload all the time you choose the tactical reload one but if you want to hit that button for the bolt release or the bolt catch or something then you hit put the empty reload on so you get a little modularity with your reloads so that's cool you can have extended magazines there for a bit more rounds or a giant 60 round magazine there which looks like it'd be prone to jamming but that isn't a concept in fallout 4 so i think we'll be okay to chuck that one on maybe a different one and you can change it from semi-auto to full auto like i said before you'll get a slightly higher rate of fire probably to offset the uh, dps that you'd normally get out of your um, automatic receivers. But I'm glad that it doesn't destroy the damage if you have an automatic one on. That just remains the same. So that's good. We'll chuck a scoped version with the uh, semi-automatic receiver. And we'll go and see what this bad boy can do. You can craft this for yourself on a chemistry workbench under the sub-menu called Tactical ACR. And you can make them with these parts. Honestly, it's probably not that hard to find and there's no gun nut ranks for this to uh buy you from crafting this at level zero so that's cool or level two i guess you can get gun nut rank one provided you got the intelligence okay so i want to make a point here about recoil i'm going to fire at this thing without controlling the recoil and we're going to see the decals of the bullets and what happens when I just fall over the wall. So it just goes off and it sprays in a random direction. Then I go to compensate for the recoil. The side to side, kind of hard to deal with. You get a decent spread if you decide to fall over. But here's the thing. If I use this thing in Battlefield for a second, if I fall over the wall... Can you see why we might have a, a problem with managing this recoil? Now, I'm, I get the patterns and everything, but still. Also, this is the ACR in, in, in Battlefield 4. It's actually a cool weapon. Although it's probably worth mentioning that the Battlefield 4 man is like a professional soldier. Look, Rain's just a mercenary, but come on, Rain. Come on, get it together. Alrighty, welcome to Immersive Gunners Plaza. It's around sunset because I want a little bit of orange in the sky, and this is the variant that I was shooting a wall with, so we'll skip over that and we'll cycle through what other ones I've made. This one's got a see-through scope, it's also tanned. If you see a tanned ACR in my hands, it just means it's semi-auto for reference. Got a big old magazine, a foil grip, and a laser sight on the bottom, all painted to match more or less on the uh, tan paint there. The next one I've made is a unsuppressed short barreled laser sighted with a foregrip that is skeletonized with a reflex sight close quarters thing. And it's got a 60 round magazine so I'll be backing this thing to get me out of any close quarters situations that I might find too troubling. Take this. Institute spy plane. And last but not least, I've got a semi-auto one just with a ref uh, no, an ACOG scope, but it's like a reflex sight in the third person because they're kind of see-through scopes, but not really. You don't get the massive FOV shift if you aim with these things in third person. This one also has a foregrip as well and a flashlight, which we probably won't get much use of because there's still a little bit of daylight left, but sun is going down ever so soon. And we'll probably have the weather switch to raining in a second because we're in the marsh of the Commonwealth. But I want to point a couple of things out when it comes to this rifle. And the, the little spindly bugs might exaggerate it. But I've had problems with my preliminary testing of this weapon. I've found that for some reason, there's a lot more spread than what is standard. Now, when modders come out with the weapon mods and make the recoil all crazy and... Uh, all over the place and the spread super high it's kind of jarring because none of the vanilla weapons work that way so it's just like well if i can more reliably hit something with a vanilla assault rifle over this range then why would i just not use that apart from having a 
and my eyes bleed from looking at such a weapon. But I've found that if I'm shooting at certain mass, sometimes the bullets just don't hit. If you get lucky and the spread gods say, yep, that's a hit, you'll get it, but... I'm not really doing too well here. I feel like I'm being accurate to an extent. My aim is partly true, but now they're after me. Okay, we're, we're, we're doing guerrilla warfare tactics here because, as you can tell, MG42s are about, and that's a no-no. That's bad. We'll try to keep this sniping thing up, but we probably need a slightly higher zoom in at this point. We can just see silhouettes. No. Well, at least we can tell exactly which ones are the MG42 wielders because they'll be firing those annoying explosive bullets at us. It is foggy now. I suppose that'll help out our stealth a little bit, but I don't usually have to fall back with weapons. I've actually had a great amount of difficulty getting this thing to work, and I think that's because I've drawn a whole lot of gunners with uh, MG42s today. So, you know, it's a little bit scary. I'm going to move in a little bit closer now. I think the cover of this fog might actually help me. I'm going to toss a flashbang in there. Hopefully get a few. It sucks that the tree stumps are made of adamantium. will stop every single bullet in their tracks. But we're being hunted and pushed back by these gunners. We've only got this tree for cover. And not only are we fighting with these gunners to get the job done. We're actually fighting with the weapon. Unless we hip fire. Because if I aim down sights here... As you can tell, like, the re the reticle on this thing just jumps around like there's no tomorrow. It jumps around like a bloody 11 on the Richter scale earthquake. And uh, this is an unrelated horror mod building, which I am now using for a tactical co co cover. Take take this. I'm tired of your MG42 nonsense. So what I might do instead of, like, trying to slug this out and wrestle the weapon is I'm just going to let bat do most of the work here because... It, it's got the damage. I think the hard bit about this weapon is actually getting it to hit anything. See, that was a crit for 1,500, and that's in a burst of three. That looks like a 308 bullet. All right, then. Wait, that was a sneak critical. Okay, we're back in the caution. Honestly, good sign. Quite like that. No stim packing on my server. There we go. Get you nice and flashbanged. Perhaps a little bit... Uh, too liberally used there, but that's okay. We'll switch back over to the scoped variant, see if I've got a little bit more uh, aim buffs now. I can pick off silhouettes easy enough, but there we go. I swear my aim was true through all of that. I don't know why the bullets were just randomly stopping. They, they are a little bit closer now, so that's why I feel like I'm getting the hits more consistently, or maybe I'm just in the zone. Who knows? And hang on, we're having problems with the W key again. Remind me to grab a sledgehammer next time. I'll threaten the computer with it. Say, if you don't bloody work, then you're getting this. Flashbang these guys. And whilst they're all oriented and all of that, we'll go in with our close quarters shredder and make good use there. we got to save at every point of health we can because if there's a guy with an... Ah, speak of the devil, I'm going to crit you through this. Come on, poke out, poke out again, mate. Actually, no, we've got to door breach this. Yeet. Haha, <laughs> take that. And witness the uh, bashed animation. You just poke him with a knife. You just, just get him like that. Doesn't do a whole lot of damage. And even on the crits, probably not worth writing home about. But it's a thing. What are you doing, you cheeky bastard? Think outflank me? Well, it worked for a little bit, but... Okay, we've got a cheeky level up there. That means we're kind of back in action. We'll switch over to the semi-auto one with a ACOG scope. Tell you what, this shrubbery makes it hard to see. Have this. There we go. We'll try to get around, maybe. I'm leaving the uh, cover there. Never mind, there's like a billion people here. I'm going over here now. Pop reload. There we go. And uh, we'll see what, what we can do here. I can't get any lines of them anywhere. That's a that's an MG42. Guess what, mate? You're getting the VATS treatment here. The Imperial said it will not sit still for this. And I'm missing in VATS on a 95% shot. Also, I hit him for triple six damage. So there's some devil foul play going on here. 
Maybe that's why I'm missing. The devil's... He, he's messing with the guns. He, he's not happy that I called him angels, is he? Anyway, so now I've um, sort of boxed myself in here. I'm going to snipe him. Like this. There we go. Making some use out of it. Honestly, this is probably a moment to go full gun through mode. And one of the gunners just said, come on, arsehole. Leave your sexual fantasies out of it, please. We'll go for a critical hit. Hit that guy for two bits. We smashed him right through the tree. Probably going to use the critical again. Never mind. Would have worked. And we've got a Grim Reaper sprint proc there. So that's good. It's like I got a Glock. No, that's, a, that's an MP443. It's one of the Gratch. It's a MP443 Gratch. That's a Russian pistol. And hang on a second. I see you. We'll leave the ones with the pea shooters alone. Looks like they spent all of their gunner budget on getting a few MG42s here and there. And the rest of them got little, little pistols. I'm not super worried about you. You can shoot at me all day. I don't think I'll be suffering a whole lot from that. Full XCOM critical. Hello there. There is nothing you can do. I am totally bulletproof to that. Hey! I see you there. Put that down right now. There we go. So, despite all of the MG42s we've seen today, we're pulling through just... We've got to play ultra conservatively and somewhat silly-like. And hang on a second. Someone over here. Is it you? Yes, it's you. I'd so love to be able to shoot the guns out of their hands so I can break the guns. That's a conscript. You get one. So yeah. And actually, no, that's that's three MGs in a row. Can you believe it? No wonder I was getting pummeled before. Making the ACR look bad. Alright, there we go. And we've aggroed some crabs down there. I don't think that'll be a problem. And looks like we're done here with the immersive gunners plaza. Just got a little get a little bit of uh cardio in. You'll know that it's like the tactical sprint where you point the thing in the sky and sprint that way. And I barely use any AP at all running like this. I'm not sure whether that's due to the attachments, but I don't have anything that would reduce the cost of sprinting. I've got a big AP pool though, so maybe that's why. Nice. Anyways, yeet. Eight lead gunners. Hip fire this thing all day. Got 16 bullets left for you. You've got a knife. It's a knife fight it is. Take that. Okay, seven damage. Maybe we'll just shoot her instead. Well, that was a struggle. Made it through in the end. That's all that matters. A bit, bit rainy. It's, it's rainy in many ways here. And I need to sort out this W key because I can't move most of the time. It's not good. Alrighty, so the W key has been fixed. I, I threw some tape over it. It holds it in place. Like little connectors that keep the thing connected to like the key. And everything is all done. And there's a random gangrenous feral ghoul. You know what? That's my kill. Let's get his aggro this way. So, he's a big old target. So, hopefully we won't have any mishaps with the spread here. No, it's good. And you might think that you'd be firing like this fast with a semi-auto version, but no. You can go this fast. And when you use it in third person, firing at this speed at a range where you can't possibly miss, you can stack that DPS on real nice. Yeah, okay. Um... Yeah, look, about the first thing is that, look, the, the level list took a giant dump on us there, giving so many gunners the MG42s. That was tough. That was tough. So the fact that this thing got through it, although with some questionable tactics, I think speaks well to it. Alrighty, so we'll be starting this fight in Dusk because I do want to get a little bit of stealth commandoing, but uh, it won't last very long because the lighting conditions will... Uh, have us be detected pretty quickly. Anyways, so I'm going to use this thing in third person from now on because it's just easier to track where your bullets are going to be going. And if we full auto this guy, about 500 damage, a little bit more if we shoot these little minions. And we'll probably clear them up a little bit. Okay, we're definitely on now. And we'll cancel that stagger right there by switching viewpoints. And oh good, he's got himself stuck again. Good. That's, that's fine. I like it. Anyways, a bunch of bears, yogi bears, still producing earthquakes when they stagger, which is funny. It's certainly interesting, and uh, I feel like that that little effect that you get with Cap Collector 4 is 
and like it's a it's a different frame rate to the rest of the game so it looks really choppy for some reason and so we can follow the bear like this we get 90 damage if we switch over to the semi-auto one same damage it's arguable exactly how much faster you'd be i guess it'd be easier just to use this thing and fire at it for auto and just worry about just pushing the trigger down once and everything anyways we'll get him out he puts a little bit of a fight up we can't get any staggers with this by the looks the hip fire on this thing not too bad obviously this has got quite the setup for it and now we can shoot him in the bum there we go it's the slapstick comedy part of the video sorted out take that off the list and now we've lost the giant bear we'll try to draw him over the bridge again because he will have to sort of charge that way all right we're back into caution i may as well make some use out of this there we go a bit of 4.4 times multipliers you know what? I think we'll need the crits back. We'll, we'll get the crits back. So if we can target him, which we certainly can't... No. Okay. He actually ran out of range there. But as you can tell, with this thing's range, the, the range stat, which, mind you, I'm just going to remind you that it is a lot. 515. That's a lot higher than any vanilla gun. It's a guaranteed hit from basically anywhere. So maybe the motto in mind just wanted to make this thing usable in vats like all the time because it certainly looks that way got our like, crits back and we can even shoot him for a massive amount of damage from even back here because normally you'd get like half damage penalty over a range that is basically over to where that little orange bridgey thing starts so yeah there you go a little bit, a little bit of tidbit of information for you look under the bonnet that was a headshot i was not aiming there but whatever i just don't get it i don't need i need to know why exactly it's just so inconsistent i guess it's supposed to be <laughs> supposed to be more of a close quarters weapon like even the longer scopes you don't actually get that much of a zoom in but i don't know maybe that's realistic and that's why the u.s military didn't adopt it right they're still using M4s to this day. Maybe the odd scar here and there for the Navy SEALs, for the big boys who can, who want to use the more expensive stuff. So I think I'll call it there. That there was the Remington ACR. Obviously, you still need to download the Mark 18 mod to get this. So it's a two for one deal here, I guess. And is it worth it? Well, I've had a good time with this thing. I think the recoil needs to be tweaked a little bit, but... The visual recoil is sort of more baked into it. Um, that's all sort of animation based, but the rest of it, I think, can be easily tweaked to just improve it. I don't have a problem with this thing's damage or performance or anything. It's just a little bit hard to use. It just Honestly, it just feels like you're wrestling with the weapon a little more than you should. It just makes it a little bit more difficult to use than most of the mods, which can be a good thing, but when most mods are there performance is more akin to or rather the recall statistics and everything more akin to stuff that you'd find in the vanilla game it is a little bit jarring so perhaps you could call it a learning curve to make this thing work a little bit better but yeah it can either go both ways either like it or not there's a bit of subjectiveness about it but yeah i think it could be improved that way anyways that's it for me thank you very much for watching guys links will be in the description as well as just follow her if you want her to shoot stuff with you she's got a raider voice